Hey everyone, uh, I just bought this Power Alley Pro pitching machine right here. It's a uh, model number PA Pro 149. Also with the with the cage right here. It's a uh, 22 foot long from what I believe and about eight feet high. I also got the uh, uh, the power feeder or the ball feeder I'm sorry right here uh, this is what it looks like set up it took me about a good hour to set this up um, I had to buy extra wiring uh, because the net's real it the net moves a lot also with the poles that it comes with it, it moves a lot they're real um, real flimsy so I, whenever the wind comes it moves it moves a lot and whenever the ball hits it inside it moves a lot this is what it looks like set up I bought some extra stakes to put in the ground with extra wiring so it takes up a good portion of my backyard um, the power let me see this right over here this right here is where the machine's supposed to go through but with the netting and stuff like that, it's real loose, so it interferes with the ball. Um, it's got like these little tubes that you're supposed to put into the uh, pitching machine. But you either put one or the other, um, and it's, it's, it's really not that good. Um, so that's why I got the pitching machine inside. All right, so let's go underneath. All right, so now we're inside the cage right now. Um, as you can see, the wiring and stuff like that, it's, it's all hooked up to like, these little circle things. Alright, I'm six, I'm six feet even, so with my hand, the, the middle of the cage, with my hand touching up, it's about a good six inches away from before I could touch it. But down over here, it drapes down low, as you can see. And this is where you would be batting from when I bat uh, in my swing I guess um, I'm a little too big probably for it but it would be good for a, for a kid um, my swing touches the nets whenever I swing so I try to exp I try to pull the net out a little further I use some extra stakes right here to push the push the net away um, to give me some extra batting room inside here from where I'm at to where the machine is at, batting wise, I'm about a good uh, about 15 feet away from where the machine is, right here. All right, I have a combination of of baseballs and also the heater balls, the yellow ones um, that's recommended to buy with it. So machine the machine was really easy to set up it took me about a good two three minutes to set this up all you do is just put those poses together and then attach it to the machine right here and that's it so let's go ahead and start this up um, you know what I notice is um, the baseballs they go through a little easier than the yellow balls I'm not sure why but the baseballs they actually um, they go they go through a little smoother so it's got a scale of 1 through 10 uh, right there on that little knob and then it tells you the speeds um, and we've, there it is so that's it right here so let's start it up it's pretty it gets pretty loud once you start it up as you can see the balls are moving they're starting to roll day through they're gonna go in the feeder and we're gonna start shooting out. It doesn't actually look like they're going 45 miles per hour. Uh, I'd probably say maybe 25, 30 with those balls. The accuracy is, is okay. Sometimes they go a little bit to the left. 
All right, now it's gonna, there goes the yellow ones. Yeah. The yellow ones seem to go a little faster. It's getting, right now it seems to be getting a little jammed up inside there. So you can see they're going off to a little bit to the, to the left. Got the last one. Alright. Seems to have a problem usually like with the last ball inside. It really doesn't want to throw it out. Uh, but it shot out 11 balls. Um, seems without a problem. Overall, I think it'll be a It'd be good for a kid, not so much as an adult, um, due to the, um, the small amount of space inside the cage. So, um, also, if let me grab the balls. It will damage your balls. Let me see. As you can see with these right here, since there's a like a rubber part inside the machine that's rotating it it puts pressure on it and kind of peels the balls so you will lose money that way having to buy new balls um, as far as the yellow ones I think they're they're made more for it um, they could take a little more beating than the regular baseballs so that's my review on um, the power alley pro with the batting cage and the 12 ball feeder